Gilbert here. Welcome to Red Dragon Modelers. Um, sorry for the light posting lately. Um, just been um, trying to tie up some loose ends with the deaths of my uh, my brother-in-law and my wife's uncle, and um, just some things with her mom. You know, we just it's been pretty hectic here and stressful. So this weekend, that's what uh, we had some things we needed to take care of, and um, you know, I won't bore you with the details, but. So forgive us for not having a, uh, a hangout, for the syndicate hangout up this weekend. So, But uh, I did get to, a chance to spend a couple of days at Adepticon. Now Adepticon is held here in uh, in the Chicagoland area in a suburb called Schaumburg, which is about uh, 40 miles from here, give or take a few miles here. I don't know. Yeah, about 40 miles from here, from my home. Um, and on Friday... Uh, Baltazar, the basement modeler and I, we both headed out there. On, uh, we got there and we spent a few hours there, and it was pretty good. We uh, ran into a family of gamers, you know, Andrew and his boy, um, and uh, Coach and his boy, and uh, it was pretty cool. I ran into a bunch of other people, uh, some brothers from the UK, uh, a couple, uh, well, these people I ran into on Sunday. But anyway, to make a long story short, we picked up some pretty good things, you know. Baltazar and I, we got some... Uh, Pretty good deals. Now on Friday at Adepticon, there wasn't a lot of uh, vendors there. There were a lot, but there were more last year than there were this year there. But, um, you know, and then we, we walked around and we, we got some deals here and there. But um, on, I went back on Sunday. Um, Phil, Wayne, and uh, Steve, uh, my fellow Siamese Syndicate uh, hosts, um, I had showed them a few things that I had picked up, and um, they wanted a couple of them. So I took a ride back up there on Sunday and spent the whole day there. I got there about 9 a.m., and I was there till about 5, you know. Um, and it was pretty cool because I got, the I got a chance to talk with everybody. I mean, just talk. And um, I sat and I spoke with Ken of Badger, you know, and uh, we had a lot of good, you know, pretty good conversation. I met uh, one of his... Uh, one of the Wargamers Consortium, and I believe he's also um, uh, sponsored by Badger, and, and uh, his name is Caleb. And I ran into him, pretty cool dude. Um, he gave me his card, what did I do with it? Um, I got a bunch of cards laying around here. But um, yeah, I, I sat and I talked with Caleb. Uh, Caleb Wisenbeck, uh, CK Studio Painting at gmail.com. Pretty cool dude. Amazing painter, guys. That's him right there. Caleb Wisenbeck, pretty good painter, man, um, phenomenal, I was, saw some of his work, and I really, you know, and, you know, he was pretty cool, because he sat down, you know, and we just went over techniques, and he was telling me what he uses, and how he uses them, and anyway, uh, same thing with, with Ken, we discussed, you know, airbrushes, Steinle res, and all kinds of other things, um, sat and spoke with the, the folks from Reaper, uh, miniatures, they were really cool with me, they, uh, the owners, uh, and their wife, Sharon, Sheila, or Sharon, I believe, and, um, I, I, I can't remember right now, guys, um, and they were pretty cool, man, they, they hooked me up with, uh, they had to make a take a table there, and they gave me some, some paints that they were, that they had there, um, they gave me a couple of deals on, um, uh, on a few figures, <laughs> and they gave me this big glass case, man, huge, so thank you, brothers, you know, fellow Texans there, you know, they're out of Dallas, you know, Reaper Miniatures, <coughs> um, and then I, I, I uh, met the guy, Sam, from um, Games and Gears, and uh, he hooked a brother up, uh, we bought some, uh, Baltazar and I bought some paintbrushes for him, and on Sunday when I went back, he called me over, and we just sat there and just talked, you know, and I must have spent about an hour there, 45 minutes to an hour, just bullshitting with him. And he was looking at what I do, and I showed him pictures, and he showed me pictures of what he does. And, and he took a liking to some of the stuff that I did. You know, he likes the way I paint. Uh, he saw my diorama for, that I did for Nigel Wells, and he loved the, the 109. So he hooked the brother up. He gave me something that he wants me to paint for him and just send him pictures for it. And I'll show you guys that in a second also. Um, stopped over at Forge World, and uh, Gears of uh, Games Workshop people, and they had a bunch of stuff, and that's probably the most expensive purchase I made there because I was after the some of the Primarchs, but I couldn't afford all of them, and um, I paid a hundred dollars for a horse um, Primark, and I should have went to Yoimark, <coughs> excuse me, but um, 
it is what it is. You're gonna pay high prices for uh, Forge World. They got some beautiful stuff, but you're gonna pay a premium for it. And they didn't have any, and they weren't giving out any discounts, brother. You, what they had in that catalog is what you paid, and like it or not, you know that's what it was. Um, spoke to the. There's a company called Dicehead.com, and they're out of Tennessee. And they had a, um, a bloodthirster, a corn bloodthirster sitting there. And I was after that thing. And on Friday I saw it and the guy didn't want to come down at a price on it. So I said, no, nah, I'm not paying $117, $120 for this thing. There's just no way. After I just spent $100 on that Forge World uh, miniature, this guy here, you know, there was no way I was going to spend another $100 on another figure. But on Sunday I come back and he called me over. And we sat and we talked. And uh, <laughs> he hooked a brother up. He gave me a price I could not refuse. So I ended up buying it. I got, uh, I picked a, this guy up, you know, from him. Um, he gave me a phenomenal price on it uh, or a deal on it. And I just, you know, couldn't pass it up. But um, this is these people here. Dicehead.com. Now, these guys are out of Tennessee, of course. Um, their phone number is here, as you see it there. This is who they are. They have a 20% coupon off of stuff all the time on all their stuff here. But they also have this here. A 25% coup, you know, off if you use this right here as a code. Adepticon 2015. You'll get 25% off your purchase. Dicehead.com, guys. They have, you know, all that stuff there. You go check these guys out. They're really good. They're, it's a young man and a, his wife, and they run it. And they were really good people, man. You know, real, you know, salt of the earth. And, I really like them. I, I, I enjoyed talking to them. They have everything from uh, Army Painter Games Workshop, War Machine, Vallejo, Secret Weapon. They got it all there, guys. You know, So go check them out, man. They're right here in the U.S. in Tennessee. Dicehead.com, man. You go check these guys out. They gave a brother a good deal. I'm going to keep in touch with these guys. Um, and, I'll, you know, they had some really nice stuff there, and I'm going to pick them up from them. Um... There was also a few other people, like this guy here, this bombshell cat. I went to get my, my figure there, and they ran out of him, so so much for that. Um, there was also a uh, secret weapon was there. They had all they were there last year also, um, but they weren't giving any discounts or anything either. So, And then I sat when uh, Chung from uh, Wargamers Consortium, he was there with Ken, and, and he and I, you know, last year, he, you know, we didn't speak. But this year, uh, Friday, we didn't speak. But uh, on Sunday, we sat down and we just had a long conversation. He's a pretty cool dude. So, and he gave me his little thing here. And, you know, maybe, um, you know, hopefully they come and join the syndicate. <laughs> but um, there was another company. Oh, before I get into that, for all of you, uh, you know, the model builders that don't know what Adepticon is, it's a, uh, it's like the, like in, in the UK, they have Salute. Here they have Adepticon. Adepticon is like the Super Bowl of uh, wargaming figures, uh, contests, you name it. Uh, it's the premier show for that kind of stuff here. And it's usually a four-day event. It starts Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, and, uh, again, Thursdays usually is like their clinics. You know, Thursday and Friday, they have their painting clinics, all their stuff. And the place was crowded. They had both floors, everything. Um and they have painting clinics, tutorials, uh, uh, they have symposiums, all that good stuff. On um, Friday, they have painting clinics also, but that's when the, the general public starts coming in. And then Saturday, it's just a madhouse. And Sunday, it was just, I got there at 9 in the morning. It was kind of dead, but around 11, right around noon, 1 o'clock, man, it was it was just insane. Um, I had Steve, uh, Clover and Cross, we had him on the phone here, and I was walking around on a hangout with him, showing him. He was doing some Skype shopping, <laughs> Skype shopping, you know, because I, I went there Sunday to pick some stuff up for the guys. But um, I'd like to show you what I picked up, and I'll do this quick. Um, again, I told you I stopped at Forge World, and I picked up the horse uh, figure. That's this guy here. This is uh, quite, a, I mean, this hurt pine. <laughs> it's $100 for what's in here. Um, will I do it again? Probably not. I, I wanted this figure, but I can't see myself spending that kind of money on these figures. It's just, it's insane. You know, it's insane, but they're beautiful. You know, there. I'll have a in-depth review. That's his uh, body right there. And just the details on this guy is amazing. Um, there's a beautiful uh, 
base that he sits on. And again, I'll, when I get down to doing it, I'll have a, a review on this. And I'll show you guys what he really looks like. Um, picked up from, talked to the guys at Cool Mini, you know, just chewed there and they gave, they threw this, threw me a bone. They gave me this, literally, you know, um, a pack of dogs. <laughs> there's three regular dogs and there's three, uh, there's three regular ones and then there's three zombie dogs. So this either, um, I might use this on uh, Brian's uh, Atomic Dog 32's uh, appreciation build, but there's something else I might use also, and I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, Badger, of course, I picked up uh, some airbrushes, got them at a can steal. Thank you, Ken. I'll tell you what, guys, that Badger, that Steino Riz, you can't beat it. Um, I don't care what anybody says. That's probably the, right now, the final word as of now. Um, the ultimate primer you can get right now. Um, it's sandable. It doesn't act like a like an acrylic. It is probably the best primer money can buy at the moment, and it's not that expensive when you consider other stuff. But anyway, he gave me two of these. You know, threw two of these in for me. I got one behind me because with the new airbrushes, I'm running out of holders for him. So I got two new holders. Um, I picked this up also from Cool Mini. It's a little uh, Oriental. It's it's a, a little game piece for uh, uh, Wrath of Kings right there. But I like this because it's um, I don't know if you can see it right there. It's a little like an Oriental dragon. And it's got a crazy little rider on there, and it's a really nice figure. It's about yay big. Um, I'll show you real quickly. It's a beautiful cast. I mean, it's got some really nice details on it. But, um, and I got a good idea of what I want to do with it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it through the plastic, and I really don't want to take it out. But, you see the scales on that? I mean, there's some really nice detail on this little guy. You know. So, I got an idea of what I want to do with this one here, you know. Um, so I picked that up. Um, and, and I got a few other ones. I've got, um, uh, one real big one. And I picked up uh, some little guys here from Reaper for Phil. I don't know if you guys can see that. Picked that up for Phil, Phil B Studios. Picked that one up. Um, I picked up, these are all Reaper. Picked this one up. I don't know if you can see that. Come on, focus in. There it is. Got her. And I picked up, a, I don't know what he is, a Zombify Mutant. I picked this guy up for him. So I got these for Phil. Also um, from from uh, Reaper. You know, they were, they gave me a box full of paints. Pretty awesome of them. On top of that big ass cabinet they gave me. And I picked this guy up right here. There's bones. Uh, dragons don't share is what it's called, see? Dragons don't share. Now this set, here's the dragon, and then you got five figures. This set comes with all of this. You get all five figures, the dragon, and all these bases. You know, got this at a damn good price, guys. I couldn't pass it off. Not for that, and it's heavy. Oh God, it's heavy. Um, so that was my extent of figures. And then I went over to uh, Games and Gear. Now, Games and Gear, you know, it's gamesandgears.co.uk. Gamesandgear.co.uk. And they had some paintbrushes there that are like the Ichiban paintbrushes. That's these guys right here. There's a uh, synthetic and a red saber. They come in a little package like this. And here you get the size one, two, and three. And they're, again, they're like the Ichiban ones. You do that, and there's your paintbrush. And look at the point on those things, man. These are the full synthetic. Um, I haven't tried them yet. Well, I did on the, on the Sable. I haven't tried these yet. Um, and I like them. I really like them. They're nice. I didn't need more of them, but I wanted to try them. And the price I got them, they were pretty good. So... Sam, the owner of it, you know, he, he gave uh, Baltazar and I a pretty good price on these. Um, again, it's Sam from uh, Games and Gear. 
and here are the red saber ones but the same thing you know you get two of them you get the size zero and then you get what they call a detail brush and then you get this one now this one is called the katana and see that it's got a little rubber piece on there a little synthetic rubber piece on there now what this is good for and this is used for is for eyes Anybody that's ever painted eyes, you know you're getting up with a little splatter. Well, with this, you know, after you mix your paint, you just drop that tip in there and then, boop, put a little drop of white. Let it dry, drop, clean it, drop the tip, boop, a little black for the iris, it's done. That's that one right there. This one can also, I, I can see myself using this for chipping. There's a lot of possibilities with this little guy. I usually, um, when I do that, like with the, the figures with the eyes, I usually do... Um, a toothpick you know but yeah there's two of them you know so he hooked us up with these uh these were they, they say adepticon extreme series on there because they're made they were made for adepticon um he has some for the gen con also so he's got the you know gen con adepticon whatever but these were nice man um they're nice i like them but you know on sunday i went back and we started talking and and you know he uh, he well the other thing he gave us some of his um so, so we were sitting there talking, and, and I, I wanted to, this was sitting out there, and it was in a box, and I said, what do you want for that? And he says, take it, you know, you can have it, Gilbert. So he gave it to me as a, as a gave. he just, you know, nothing, I didn't have to do anything for it, you know, you know, dance or show my ass or whatever. <laughs> he was just really nice about it, you know, he, he hooked a brother up, man, we just sitting there talking. So he gave me this to try out, you know, it's a little games and gear uh, what they call a, I don't know, it's more like the Oriental for the, for the Katana swords. You can lay your brushes in this, you know. So he gives, he gave me that. And as we're sitting there talking, he come over and he showed me this. He says, can you repaint that? And I said, yeah, sure I can. You know, he says, cause the guy that did it didn't do a good job. He says, you know, what would you do to this if you had it? And I told him, I said, you know, I would do this, that, and the other thing, pick out some details on the skulls. And he says, here, take it. He says, do it up. Throw it on my website. You know, it's yours. So, there's that. So, we were sitting there talking, and then, then he comes over and he shows me this. It's a uh, uh, resin piece. There's four resin pieces. You got, well, actually five. There's the two walls, the floor. There's a base here with skulls, and then you got that other thing, like I just showed you, the little rack of skulls. So, yeah, there it is right there. See? So... This is you're gonna you guys are gonna be seeing this probably I'll probably do a little diorama with these guys um, a little you know scene and using this and I'm gonna put that on his website so this is uh I'm gonna be doing this one here for the games and gears people um, again if you guys they got some really cool stuff guys you gotta check them out they're right here games and gears dot uk dot co or dot co dot uk games and gears dot co dot uk they're a, a, a UK company, but there's some high quality resin in here, man. So I'm going to be doing that for Games and Gears. Um, and then I picked up, and I shouldn't have, I know. But this is the other reason I went back, because the brothers wanted a couple of these. I picked up one of these, a chrome airbrush, and I got a stupid good deal on this, man. Thank you, Ken. Ken from Badger hooked hooked me up, man. So um, I picked up one, and then when I got home, I showed the guys, and they I went back on Sunday, picked them up, a couple of them. You know, got these at a... If I told you what I paid for this, you'd tell me I was lying. That's how good the deal was. Got that. Oh, here's the other thing. Well, the only thing I picked up from Reaper, or from Secret Weapon, because, again, they weren't given any... You know, the price they were charging there, I could have got it cheaper somewhere else. But um, I picked this up, a little dragon skull. It's pretty cool. And I, I kind of liked it, you know. So I'm going to incorporate that in a diorama somewhere with the figure. So I got that. Um, I picked up some t-shirts. I picked up uh, some stickers that say Adepticon. Picked up some more Steinal Res because I absolutely love that stuff. And then I picked these little guys. 
Um, this there's this little there's this cat there and I don't remember his name but I have a video of it and I'll have it later on because this video is going to run too too uh, long. But there's this guy that does he's, he was there last year and I don't remember his name for the life of me and I had his card and I don't know what I did with it. But this he makes these he sculpts them and he makes them. This is a little mummy it's a little mummy figure and it's really it's pretty cool. You know the little big head guys. So I bought one of these. They're five bucks a pop, you know. So I got one of those, and then I picked up three other ones. Um, and of course, no deal there either. But it is what it is. Um, I picked this little guy up, and I think I'm going to use this for Brian's uh, Atomic Dog uh, Appreciation Bill. I got this guy. I picked up, now all their arms and their legs and all that are in the bag, and I just, they're little tiny pieces, I don't want to pull them out. I picked this guy up, the little skull, you know, little skeleton soldier guy, grabbed him, and I picked up also a little dog, a little rabbit dog. So that's, I think, what I'm going to use for Brian's atomic dog built. So, that was my Adepticon adventure, guys. That's what I picked up. Um, again, I met some amazing people. Um, met some amazing painters. Um, I got to sit down and pick their brain, and they, they got to see my stuff. I got to see theirs. And um, the, the Crystal Brush Awards were phenomenal. The guy that won that deserved it. Um, it was a beautiful piece. It was a big uh, space marine. And God, the way he did that, it was just Russian cat, man. Um, beautiful work. Starts with Kilo, Kilo or something like that. I can't remember his name, but man, God, it was beautiful, phenomenal work. Um, so yeah, that's that's that that was uh what we did this weekend. So forgive forgive me for not having that, but you know, with family and the Adepticon, that was just you know, I got a picture where these guys we were all sitting at the table talking, and I fell asleep, and they took a picture, and I was I was passed out, I was out of it, man. But anyway. It was a nice weekend, man. It was uh, it was pretty fun. Um, again, I, I met some pretty cool people. As a matter of fact, I just got some emails from them. You know, um, I think um, some lasting friendships there. You know, so um, again, forgive us for not having the hangout uh, on Saturday. But if you stick around on uh, this coming Saturday, we'll have the Styrene Syndicate show and the hangout afterwards. And if uh, during the week, if you have time, uh, with my other page, the Styrene Brotherhood, I usually have a hangout either Wednesday or Thursday. Um, about 1 p.m., you know, noon, you know, then. so that's it, you know, um, I'm going to, I, I, I'm going to sit down and, um, figure out there's a five window coupe or the Merc, the 49 Merc that I want to do. So I think I'm going to buy a, uh, a couple of resin bodies from Jimmy Flintstone to do the, either the, both. So, um, I think once I get this, uh, this week, I'm going to sit down and get this cleared out of here. Uh, get some of these figures primed and ready. Because those I can do on the side. But I'll start to figure out which car I'm going to do, which build. I also got a couple of uh, pieces of armor I'd like to do. So um, I'm starting to, you know, try to limit myself. on Instead of having scatterbrain, which you see behind me, you know, everything all scattered around. I'd like to focus on something and give you guys a couple of build videos, you know, and how-to videos. And, uh, you know. I'd like to thank each and every one of my subscribers out there. Um, I, I'm always amazed that uh, you guys watch. I'm humbled by it, and I hope that um, I continue to give you uh, inspiration uh, because God knows you guys give me the inspiration, man. I love this community, man. It's done a lot for me, man. So uh, I'd like to see it grow and, you know, stay to, stay true to its roots, which are um, building, building models. It's all about models and figures and you name it, man. So... I wish you guys a good week. You know, uh, it's Monday, of course. Uh, it's snowing outside here in Chicagoland, but by tomorrow it should be all melted because we're supposed to hit the 60s tomorrow, sometime this week, so that's not going to last. I wish you all well, um, safety, prosperity, and health. Um, be good to yourselves. Be good to your families, man. You know, and if you can think of the Peter Brothers, if it's up there, build it. Red Dragon saying, peace, be good.